Hey, what's up? Um, so first off, this video quality is horrendous because it's kind of late at night. I think it's currently- actually it's not that bad, it's um, almost 11. Second off, my hair is currently up out of my face because I felt gross today and I just couldn't deal with it. Um, so this video is about my transition, specifically where I want to go with it, what I want to do, and also maybe about my dysphoria. Um, actually yeah, definitely about my dysphoria. So I think I made a video a while back but it was just me venting. Um, so this is probably gonna be easier, I guess. So, um, looking back, I've always preferred to be more masculine, um, like, and like be acknowledged as being more masculine. Um, whenever I would have to play as a female character or a female role in whatever game that my sister and my cousins and I were playing that day, um, I would always hate it. I- so I primarily always played like masculine roles. Um, and then also I- uh, at the age of seven I cut my hair really short, like because I wanted to look like a boy and I went into school and my teacher uh, jokingly, like she, she knew that I was going to take it as a joke, she said oh we have a new boy in class and um, I, it made me feel really happy and I didn't really know why. Um, but like, uh, so I have really bad dysphoria surrounding my voice and my chest and um lower dysphoria can get pretty bad sometimes but it's not the prim primary focus it's primarily my voice my chest and actually my hands a lot which i don't wear this i just found it on my desk and i'm playing with it but yeah, primarily my hands because they're small and uh, primarily cis guys don't have small hands um so my transition, where I want to go with it and stuff like that. So um, I definitely want to start too. Um, I would love to have a voice, even if it were to sound like Chris Colfer's, which if you didn't know, he has a higher voice. Um, if I'm, I'm not gonna insert any clips of him, uh, but like just search up Chris Colfer talking and that will kind of give an idea of how high his voice actually is um like you know uh and i mean seeing him uh kind of eases my dysphoria but not really uh because at least with him he kind of has a more masculine sound whereas i don't um i would also love to get top surgery um binding every day sucks um, and if I don't blind, I feel horrendous, I want to throw up, I want to cry. Um, there are days when I've been told by my boyfriend that I need to take a break for a day because my ribs hurt and when it gets to that I end up wearing my extremely loose binder that is around two sizes too big for me because I cannot deal with having no, with not having anything there to kind of stop me from looking down and immediately seeing what is primarily a free a female's chest. Um, bottom surgery is a maybe. Uh, as I said, I don't really have that bad bottom dysphoria. Uh, that's not to say that if I were to be able to take a pill and wake up as a cis person, whether it be a cis guy or a cis female, preferably a cis guy. Um, and I mean, if I were to be able to keep all the experiences that I've taken, all the people that I've met, um, I would definitely take that pill. Um, if I didn't get to keep the experiences, then maybe not, because the amount of people I've met um, through my school's LGBT club, which, or my former school's LGBT club, which turned horrendous, but the first few years was great. 
um it was it was good um but like i don't know i just i want to be a cis guy <laughs> um yeah i really need a haircut this just occurred to me <laughs> um but yeah that's really it i guess um my hair dyeing is just a form of me alleviating my dysphoria because growing up I had my hair really long and it was brown and therefore I kind of associate that hair colour with me being or with me being seen as a female and therefore I dye it all these weird crazy colours which currently it is blue and red um though I think I might go back to blue uh it's just kind of something that I associate with me being seen as a female and I know that it technically makes me seem more feminine but in my mind it's better than me being seen as or you know it's better than me having brown hair and associating myself with the time I was always seen as a female um I guess that's it really um thank you for watching this video uh, I made it into Friday, eh? Uh, hopefully I will see you in the next video and yeah.